School safety has been top of mind in Jefferson County and with new programs like Safer Watch, more school resource officers, it's become a bigger conversation. It's where we begin this edition of News 9 Live at 5. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jamie Baker. And I'm Dylan Cleland. Now a new safety initiative is in place at Edison High School after an incident last month. News 9's Chloe Musagaitis has more. Well, students at Edison High School are walking through these metal detectors the minute they get off the bus. And what administration and staff say it's going to put an emphasis on safety like never before. The additional safety measure comes after an incident involving a weapon at the school last month. Administrators quickly responding by implementing a new backpack policy and adding the metal detector, which will have students checked for potential weapons or unwanted products. We're starting out that we're only picking two buses each day and it's on a rotating cycle. Superintendent Bill Beatty says they did their research and consulted law enforcement before purchasing, but the cost itself wasn't astronomical. Beatty says it's an investment in safety. The cost for that was $4,200. You know, it was very fair priced and these, you know, these metal detectors here are exactly what they use in Evaldi, Texas. After the situation occurred there, this is what they have in the school. So highly recommended catch everything that they need to catch. Deputy Jim Marquis with the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office serves as a school resource officer. He's operated these before in county and city buildings. Marquis says the new process is barely a week old. With the kids, it's obviously going to be a learning process. Other schools in the area who have adapted metal detector checks are Wellsville and some in Noble County. Marquis says while it's sad we've had to come to this, it's necessary to think ahead, especially with recent school shootings. Unfortunately, in today's society, you need measures like this for safety. This is just another step to potentially ensure that our buildings are safe. And BD yeah. says the next steps would be to get another metal detector at the front of the school for visitors to walk through. News 9 will keep you updated on when they do so. For now in Jefferson County, I'm Chloe Mesogaitis, News 9. Hi, I'm Dylan Cleland. Thanks for watching. And here's another video to check out. And be sure to subscribe to our channel.